It's amazing what kind of transformative changes the mobile landscape has seen in just the last decade. You could argue that even five years is a long period of time to witness monumental changes that help to redefine our technology. But it's also somewhat shocking how quickly the time goes by as well. Just over 11 years ago, in fact, we all witnessed what was arguably the most revolutionary phone ever to be imagined and brought to life. And that was none other than the original Apple iPhone. Wrapping our heads around the reality that it's been 11 years since its announcement and subsequent release, it's just crazy trying to fathom where the time has gone. If there's going to be one phone that's guaranteed to be in the top three list of everyone's greatest smartphones of all time, the iPhone is surely going to be there. Quite simply, this generation-defining gadget was ahead of its time for several reasons. First and foremost, it's almost baffling how Apple, a newcomer in the mobile space at the time, managed to do the impossible by popularizing the all-touch form factor that's become the standard to this present day. Yes, there were other touchscreen smartphones prior to it, but Apple's interpretation simplified things by centering around capacitive touch technology, which offered far more intuitiveness and interaction. This technology allowed the iPhone to achieve multi-touch, something that was rather alien to the resistive touchscreens back then, but it introduced us to the pinch-to-zoom gesture. Speaking of that, Apple totally blew a lot of us away with this new gesture. Not only did it work for things like zooming in the picture gallery, but its worth was really exemplified with its web browser, Mobile Safari. The new gesture combined with the fluidness of kinetic scrolling, another new terminology that entered our tech vocabulary, brought a totally new experience with surfing the web that we haven't witnessed before. Prior to the iPhone's arrival, surfing the web on a smartphone felt like an antiquated experience as many of them just tried to replicate the desktop experience. With pinch zooming and kinetic scrolling, web browsing would never be the same again. When it was released, the software running on the phone was referred to as simply iPhone OS. Even though there was very little in the way of personalizing the user interface, which rival platforms like Windows Mobile offered at the time, the iPhone showed us a consistent performance throughout the experience. Fluid movements, reactions, and executions made the experience with the iPhone remarkably more intuitive versus the labored execution with Windows Mobile smartphones. There was just something astounding with the iPhone's performance. And lastly, it wasn't necessarily the most grandiose thing that the iPhone introduced, but doubling as an iPod surely cemented its position in being a celebrated music listening device. Indeed, it wasn't a totally new concept listening to music with a smartphone, but its integration with iTunes, the premier music service at the time, made it easy for any iPod user to quickly adapt to the iPhone. Furthermore, CoverFlow once again showcased the phone's incredible visual masterpiece, as scrolling through your library was actually made into a fun experience. We can go on and on about the iPhone's legacy, but without a doubt, it was a phone that was ahead of its time. Revolutionary is what it's commonly referred to by many people, which makes total sense because it was and still is one of those generation-defining gadgets of our time. Many of the things it introduced 11 years ago are still quite relevant today, so it's a testament that Apple's pride and joy continues to receive acclaim. Most impressive of all is how it transformed Apple as a company, who as we mentioned earlier didn't have any prior direct experience in the mobile hardware landscape. Many of its rivals brushed them off, believing they would just be an afterthought, but as history has shown all of us, the iPhone revolutionized the phone beyond our wildest imaginations. And that's why it's a phone that was ahead of its time. And that is it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I've been doing this series for quite some time, and at first, I didn't want to start it off with the iPhone for all the obvious reasons, but it is here finally. And to me, it is one of those phones that was ahead of its time when you compare it to everything else around it. So if you guys want to learn more about the stuff I talked about in this video, you can check out our website, phonerena.com. This is John V, signing off.